Hello everybody, today's video is going to be about encryption. First of all, encryption is basically using an encryption algorithm to convert normal text into cipher text which can only be decrypted and the same algorithm is used. This algorithm is known as the key. There are two types of keys, public key and a private key. Private keys are true prime numbers whereas the public key is obtained by multiplying the private keys. So for example, let's make you the client and set 5 and 7 as the two prime numbers. When multiplied, they produce 35 which would be the public key. Now anyone can get a public key and encrypt the data but the private keys needed for decryption is still in the main server and they are very hard to get. Let's not forget that in real life, encryption is not by 5 or 7 but by prime numbers as large as 2 billion or more. And guessing that huge of a number would take even centuries. For normal people, encryption is classified into bits 256-bit, 192-bit, 128-bit, 56-bit and 40-bit. You may have heard a year ago WhatsApp changed its encryption from 128-bit to 256-bit making it untraceable. These bits refer to the possible number of outcomes. So 256-bit means to the, the power of 256 number of outcomes, 128-bit means to, to the power of 128 number of outcomes. Most of these encryptions such as 56-bit and 40-bit can now be cracked easily and are considered unsafe. Most websites nowadays use 128-bit encryption which is hard to crack. 256-bit encryption however is mathematically impossible to crack even in a century. Encryption is used everywhere nowadays from signals to Wi-Fi to the internet to make sure our data does not get in the hands of wrong people and our Wi-Fi stays out. It's also used in password which is why when you forget your password you don't get a simple email with your password. Most sites don't know your password. Most sites store the keys and the encrypted letter so when you put in your password it makes the password go through the algorithm and sees if the encrypted letters match with your encrypted letter. So for example if your password is ABCD it stores it at 1234 so if you enter ABCDE for example it will not give you access because it thinks that you have entered a wrong number because the number 1234 does not match with the number it got when the, your password went through the algorithm. Also to see if a website is encrypted, Chrome and Firefox show a padlock which signifies that the website is still safe for use and is encrypted so nobody can see your data except the site. And that's all one may need to know about encryption in simpler terms. So if you like this kind of content and would like to know more about uh, technology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like to the video. Thank you for watching this.